Yes, we have new details tonight about that massive fire that erupted inside a condo building in Cutler Bay. Residents there stunned by those flames that forced them out of their homes, while today investigators continued looking for a cause. CBS Force Peter Dench is live for us in Cutler Bay, where he spoke to several of the victims. Peter. Well, Elliot, they are truly grateful that no one here was injured, but they are discouraged that they are homeless as we approach Christmas. It appears that this play started in the roof where repairs and electrical work were being done. Residents here describe a close call. Flames shoot skyward from this building at the La Club condominium complex. The blaze is quickly upgraded to a second alarm fire here on Southwest 212th Street at 86th Avenue, prompting Miami-Dade Fire Rescue to bring in more units. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it was really bad. Condo resident NCL Hernandez had to evacuate quickly. I was just home studying and someone came to my house and uh, was screaming fire, fire. So we, everybody ran out of the apartments. Every uh, neighbor was, you know, in the first floor just looking at the fire. A ladder truck was brought in to fight the fire from above. Hernandez's mother, who was not home, was told about the blaze and immediately worried about her son. I was working, and they told me, and I felt bad because of the images. The damage was bad. It was terrible. I was worried about my son and if anything would happen to him. It took more than 90 minutes to bring this stubborn blaze under control. Other condo residents were stunned by what they saw. It's a really, really, really dangerous, dangerous situation. Dangerous situation, a big, big high risk. Well, what I understand, it was the borders and uh, roofers were working on that particular roof. The structure was intact and it basically hid the wood frame all around the, uh, but it was big. The fire severely damaged or destroyed 24 units, leaving about 60 people like Hernandez and his mother homeless. We're going to family members' houses, you know, at, in times like this, everybody offers you, I uh, have a bed, I have, you know, a place for you guys to stay, but, um, you know, you don't know what to do. You're still thinking about what could have happened. Uh, thanks God uh, everybody was able to get out of the building in time, but uh, we're still dealing with the situation. Now the Red Cross is helping those left homeless. Family and friends are helping most of them. The cause of this blaze has not been determined. We did reach out to one company doing roof repairs here. A spokeswoman told us that because of the ongoing investigation, there would be no comment. We are live at Cutler Bay, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.